What's up guys, it's Andrew and this is Motorcycles Off-Road. Back by popular demand from my awesome subscribers, you guys, this is a second edition of the top five dual sport items you didn't know you need. There are things I've found in my journey of dual sporting and dirt bike riding over the years and I'd like to share them with you guys to make your life much easier. This was a very well received video. It was about a month or so ago and basically in that span of a month it ranked second overall in my videos. Second only to the top five tips to make you a better off-road rider. So if you haven't seen that video I highly recommend it. It's got incredibly positive feedback and are tips that I feel like could help anyone. Now let's talk about the items. I will show the items, give a little review, tell you why they're awesome, and if you're looking for these items they will be in my Amazon store linked below in the first comment. But I ask at least you listen to my justification of why these items will be useful to you and how awesome they really are. Okay, number one plays off Friday's video. I didn't think I could cover the whole process of this item without doing a standalone video. So that standalone video was last Friday. And that is this bike carrier. I love this thing. I used it for my entire vacation last week where I traveled over 700 miles in the mountains with this bike carrier and I had no issues. I've had three of these bike carriers in the past and some key features make this one really great. Like to be able to put the ramp on either side, upper and lower level. This way you don't have to squeeze the ramp into your tire when you dismount the bike and just drive it off. The price, the build quality. Check out Friday's video to learn more about this ramp and I show you exactly how I load, unload, tie the bike down. I found this ramp to be extremely useful. Number two, number two is this particular bike lock. I love this thing. I'm able to send mine through the sprocket and the disc brake, but it can easily go through your frame, your forks, and your tire, however you see fit. It also comes with this heavy duty cable. You can make use of that for some extra added security. And I have a quick little video here showing you exactly how it works and exactly how I use it. So let's play the clip. Okay, so after I secure my bike, I got my shackle, my strap. I just put an extra strap there so people can see it. This is my favorite security system here, this lock. Nice bar, hard to cut. Go in here. Now this won't work the same way for everyone because I have this big rear sprocket. But so what I do is I slide it through the rear sprocket and through the brake caliber. Comes out on this side, put that back through, pull the lock. There we go. So that keeps it nice and secure. People see this and understand that that's gonna be a challenge. That if they want this bike, they're gonna to have to cut all the straps and probably carry it. And the other thing I do is I lock the front brake with a brake lock. But that's more so also to keep the bike from jostling, but it also is a deterrent. Somebody would literally have to pick this bike up, they would to get together and carry it away and then throw it in the back of a truck that way if they wanted to steal it. And by then, hopefully I hear them, right? Or somebody else sees them if we're out in public. As you see, this looks very secure, very robust, and I feel it's one of the best security options you could use hands down to lock down your motorcycle. Maybe I wouldn't carry it everywhere with me, but I've seen a million times people have their bike stolen right off their trailer or right out of their bed because all they did was strap it down and somebody came and cut the straps and took their beloved bike, and this can really help to deter something like that. All right, number three. Okay, in my last top five video, I showed the perfect bike tie-down strap, at least in my opinion. These things are great. This time, I wanna show you the wonderful use of rock straps. Man, these things are the best straps you can use hands down. Better than bungee cords, better than cinch straps. Why? Because they're both. Let me show you. So rock straps are strong and versatile. They have loops that can go through your bike, your rack, whatever tie down point you need. They could even tie to themselves. They have a strong clip and part of them is a strong bungee type elastic cordage. Why is this so good? Well, they stay tight. You may not have realized, but at some point in time when you're riding, especially with a ton of gear or camping gear, the stuff moves around, it settles, air gets compressed out. Things find a perfect space for themselves to take up as little space as possible. So instead of needing to go back and retighten your bands or your elastic bands never being that tight in the first place these guys stay tight and they readjust themselves as you roll on much more safe and a better peace of mind overall i use these particular straps and i swear by them they are a must-have. They're a perfect match of elastic and strap. They come in very inexpensive. You pick them up for $15 for a pair. And I used them on my last year motor camping trip where I did 450 miles. And I used just two of them to secure my 40 liter tail bag. And I never had any issues. Tried and true, I used this product. 
I love it. All right, next I want to talk about my favorite dual sport bag, and that is the Nelson Rig Hurricane Series. There are two options. One is the dual sport, which comes in at 8 by 5 by 4 inches, or the other is the Adventure, which comes in at 12 by 8 by 7 inches. It is completely waterproof, and it has a lifetime warranty. I use the smaller version on my 300L, and it works great. The zipper sometimes is a little hard to manipulate, but that's a small price to pay for having the waterproof option. I've been stuck in the rain on more than one occasion, so for me, it's a fair trade-off. Usually in something like this, I will keep my drone, a backup battery, a slightly crushed up bottle of water so it fits perfect, my credentials like my motorcycle insurance in a Ziploc bag for extra safety. I just feel like you need something on the bike that has extra storage, and this really checks all the boxes. I know some bikes come with a little toolbox, but you just really can't rely on that. That's just not enough space. These bags are universal. They fit any bike. They're easy to install, easy to take off. There's also a section at the top where you can put your map or your phone, nice clear plastic. And I feel like tank bags overall are pretty unique because, you know, I can put my drone in there and even if I fall down, I don't have to worry about crushing it and crushing any of the stuff inside. Well, I guess if you fall a certain way, you could crush the stuff inside. But if you're doing that, then maybe you have more to worry about than what you crushed inside. I'm talking like looping it down a hill or something. That was my number four. I feel like either bag size is not too intrusive. I personally wanted the smaller one, but the larger one one is not much bigger and I think you would be happy with either bag and their bilk wallet. Okay, item number five. This item is another security item and it is your front brake lock. You may have seen this in other videos that I've posted, but for me, this item has more than just one purpose. On the outside, yes, it's a security item and it acts as a deterrent to theft. But the hidden value is whenever you strap your bike down. When you tie down your bike, if you use something like this, it will lock the front wheel and hold it in place, making the bike more secure. I get a little anxious sometimes, thinking that the only thing holding my bike in is just some straps. Think about this. If you allow the front wheel to roll, all the force is on the straps and the tie downs alone. With this, the front wheel is locked and it adds an extra level of resistance. When you accelerate and decelerate, this adds the contact patch of the tire as resistance, relieving some of the load to the straps themselves. It's a great second benefit. Also, of course, I like to keep my stuff safe. For example, if you wanted to rob me and my bikes, you would one, have to break into my pole barn at our family business. It's on camera. You would have to bypass the security, somehow go unnoticed by the 24-hour staff, then after all that you would have to deal with the chains and the bike locks in the pole barn itself. I feel like every extra level of defense you can add to thieves to protect your motorcycle makes it harder and puts them more at risk of getting caught and not wanting to deal with stealing your bike overall. This is why I love little things like this little brake lock. It adds an extra level of difficulty and this especially goes for if your bike's just tied down in the back of your truck or on a trailer. My advice to anyone that doesn't want to get your stuff stolen is have at least two forms of locking mechanisms. Of course you can use cameras too but the only thing cameras really do is show you what time the people People stole it and kind of what they look like and then they usually never get identified. I live two hours outside three major cities. Three major cities where people would love to steal my motorcycles. So every extra hindrance I could have, I like to utilize. Plus, of course, like I said, they had a benefit of it being more secure in the back of your truck or your trailer when it's tied down. So there you have it. There's my top five items for the month. Hopefully you found some value in this video and this list and you found some items you didn't know about. And if you're watching this long, I'd like to really thank you so much. Also, a shout out to my patrons. I'm getting my 300L rally in two to three weeks. And when I do, the build process and all the items I use, everything will be going to my Patreon first as an extra benefit for all the people who decided to support this channel in the beginning. So if you're interested, check out the Patreon. I can't express how grateful I am to have people like this support me. You are in my in crowd for sure. Don't ever forget that, guys. Well, that's all I have for you today, guys. See you on next Friday's video. If you found value, please subscribe. My name is Andrew, and this is Motorcycles Off-Road. Stay safe out there, guys, and thank you for watching.